Hey, my name is Tazaris, a charity-focused content creator within the looter, shooter, and MMO genres. Basically, I'm a variety streamer within a specific niche. I stream regularly on Twitch most Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays around 10 p.m. Pacific. Links for my socials, including Twitch, are in the description below. Thanks to Square Enix and People Can Fly for early access, allowing me to showcase Outriders World Slayers and its new end game for all of you. Buckle up, let's get into it. You have now completed the campaign and been granted access to the farmable and replayable end game of World Slayers, Taria Gritar, and taken down your Arbiter. If you have not taken down your Arbiter, Make sure to check the link above for my first playthrough, along with the tips and tricks that goes with it. You are almost to Father's Sanctum, the last trial. But before you can go any further, you must face the altar of Okriel. As noted before, it's been a while since I've played Outriders actively, and while my quasi build can get through most content, it is not optimized as of this video as I do not have Deshroud or the Trespasser armor set as RNG Jesus did not want to grant my wish. So I've toned down the difficulty for my first run here, but I hope you enjoy all the same. Not knowing what to expect in the altar, I went in all guns blazing. <laughs> that was a mistake, as the boss is shielded. Look for the crystal monoliths that have energy flowing towards the boss. Go to that pillar and stand in the area of the pillar to begin the wave. The horde mode then begins with enemies from a multitude of directions from each of the rooms, some of which may require you to leave the pillar to exterminate, therefore elongating the time to take down the shield. However, once the wave is complete, you can now damage the boss until the shield is brought back. Look for the next crystal monolith. Basically, from here, it's a rinse and repeat for as many times as required to take down the shields and kill the boss. Compared to Reshkigal and the Arbiter of the Worthy, the Altar of Okriel is a substantially longer encounter, especially solo like me, because it combines not only a boss, a mechanic, as well as a horde mode activity all in one. Over the next week on Twitch, make sure to drop on by around 10 o'clock Pacific time while I'll be streaming for your chance to get apocalyptic gear as part of World Slayer's Twitch drops. That's exclusive to Twitch. It's basically gear that has a third mod that cannot be replaced or modified. 
but gives you all that extra power. And you earn it just for watching, whether lurking or active in my stream. If you cannot wait to dive into World Slayer like me, as a proud Outriders ambassador, have the opportunity to provide you with a referral code from which you can further support the content here and purchase either the World Slayer upgrade for those of you returning Outriders or the complete World Slayer edition for you new Outriders. Link for that is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this early access look into Outriders World Slayer and its endgame. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below, and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much, and happy gaming.